pause it. Oh my god, you're gonna make my libertarian head explode. That, that, I agree with what you said. You nailed it, buddy. <laughs> well, it's just... It's like, look, man, let's, the, the idea that government, it, like when we talk about government, this is why I call it a religion. It's like, let's call it what it really is. And then you can either defend it or not based on what it really is. What government is, is a group of people who have a monopoly on the legal right to initiate violence against peaceful people. That's what it is. That's a fact. That's not my opinion on it. That is what, like, objectively what the state is. They're a group of people who have the legal monopoly on the right to initiate violence against peaceful people. The government can do that. You can't. None of us can legally. Okay? Forget morally. Legally. You can't do it. You can't steal from somebody else. You can't put somebody else in handcuffs and throw them in a cage. You can't do any of these things to people, uh, certainly to peaceful people. But the government does all of them. That's what they are. They are the people who murder more people, enslave more people, rob from more people, and destroy more lives than any other organization. Again, facts. Now, to just call them the referee in the game and go, well, shouldn't we get the government involved? I mean, they're the ref in the game. It's, it's, it's naivete at its highest, highest level. All right, let's keep playing. Arians argue like, you know, well, what, even like think about, would you want to have no FDA at all? looking after it's the ridiculous. drugs that are out there. Yeah. Exactly, it's ridiculous. It's and you, ridiculous. you could sell stuff that's cut with substances that could end up killing mm -hmm. you. I mean, this is actually what happened. In Prohibition, they used, during Prohibition, they used to make alcohol in bathtubs and cut it with substances that were very dangerous. And so every now and then there would be a bad batch of alcohol and people would die because the way they made the alcohol had no regulation and no standards. Oh, right, pause it, happens. just pause it, just pause it. Oh my God, you're gonna make my libertarian head explode. You're gonna make my head explode. The reason why uh, alcohol was cut with all these different, uh, um, you know, like poisons uh, during prohibition was because it wasn't regulated, or maybe it was because of the prohibition on alcohol. <laughs> ah, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For your example of deregulation to be prohibition, it's like, well, no. Libertarians are arguing for free markets. Prohibited markets would be kind of the opposite of a free market. Yes, you're going to drive the market underground, okay. Yeah, but the, the thing they start with, too, at the beginning with is like, this is, this is what drives me crazy. And it's hard. It's hard because it's like, you're not just arguing with somebody. Like, it's one thing if you're arguing with somebody on the same playing field, on the same terms, and we're talking about the same thing. But when you're talking about something on a different level, it's very hard because you have to kind of shift the, the, the narrative back over here to where reality is. So the same thing as what you said, if you're talking about the, it, like, if you really believe that the governments are refs in the game, then I guess regulation does make sense. Like, I guess, it's just that they're not that thing. You're taking as a given something that's false. Repeat after me. Government is slavery. Taxation is theft. 